Hey everybody, Ben here. Welcome to another exciting episode of Citizens of the Stars, the show that highlights, recognizes, and celebrates the amazing accomplishments of star citizen backers around the world, the people who just make this community so absolutely amazing. Uh, and with that, let's kick it off to Jared Huckabee with Citizen Spotlight. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Citizen Spotlight, where we take an amazing look at the content creations made by you, the Star Citizen community. And joining us on the show this week is no stranger to the top five in MVP, it's Frostmaster. Frostmaster, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, how are you? Now, am I saying that right? I'm not known for pronouncing things right. Frostmaster? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Now, Frostmaster is a good example of one of the reasons we created Citizens of the Stars. We made this show because so many of our developers were sharing the cool content that backers were making on Skype and through email. And Frostmaster is no stranger to that. We've recently been sharing some of his uh, his uh, Sheon Scout videos and most recently his uh, Drake Herald Wub Wub music video. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about what your process is like? Uh, yeah, I do it probably like all the other guys do it. Uh, we record it mostly with other people for, because uh, certain type of uh, camera angles you need, to, you need, you only can achieve with other people. And yeah, that's how I record it, with a lot of help from other people. All right, and uh, how many people are we talking about? Mm, it depends, uh, not 24, but uh, maybe 10 to 15. You have 10 to 15 friends? I don't have 10 to 15 friends. How? It's in the, in the great orcs. They have a lot of people and they help me with my videos. And of course you're using the new uh, uh, cinematic mode tools that we added with 2.6, right? Uh, yeah, the cinematic mode is really awesome. I think it's, it, it can, you can do anything you want the only border are your own creativity, I think. Well, awesome. So thank you so much for appearing on the show this week. Now let's find out what's going on this week in Star Citizen. Hey everyone, and welcome to Quantum Questions, where we get to put a CIG developer in the hot seat and ask him as many questions in just under two minutes. But joining this week is cinematographer JJ Labrit. JJ, you gotta, you gotta be in the chair. My bad. I should have really thought about this before I asked you to do it. Oof, this is weird. Never been in front of the lights before. All right, how do you think you're gonna do? Um, I wanna beat Jay Lee, that's my only goal here, but that's probably pretty easy. All right, well, let's put two months on the clock. I guess I gotta do it myself. <laughs> and go. What is your name and what do you do? My name is JJ Labrit. I'm a cinematographer here in LA. I shoot um, ATV, Systems of the Stars, interview stuff here, burn down stuff. I do all the live shows here. Anything that involves cameras, lights, everything, that's me. And how much preparation goes into filming each ATV? Oh, there's a good amount of preparation. So for the hosting, it's kind of a standard layout. I have it blocked out, you know, where the desk goes, the lights go, all that kind of stuff. But each interview um, featurette, that is, I like to give it its own style, its own look. So I, you know, talk to John about it, what he's thinking, what Chris is thinking, and, you know, different backgrounds, different lighting. That's why it's, it varies every episode. How long does it take to film, edit, and publish a single episode? Um, filming, a lot of the interviews, it depends who we're filming with. So. Say we shoot something with Mark Abin. He is a genius and we love hearing what he has to say, so his interviews can take you know, up to 45 minutes. Um, it, know, it takes our editors to cut those down. I don't know, hey guys, how long is it? Eh, whatever, I'll ask him later. But uh, it, it's anywhere, you know, we shoot it and we turn it around like a week or two. Now, you get to be in a lot of meetings for these filmings and I bet you hear a lot of interesting things. So when's 3.0? So 3.0 is, uh, it's actually coming out. Okay, well, that's, that's really exciting. Yeah. You previously worked in film and TVs. What's it like to work in video games? It's really cool. It's something I've been wanting to get into my whole life, actually. I, I really like animation, video games. It's, you know, my other favorite things other than filming, but 
It's a completely different world, and I actually really want to get into filming things in the game. I've done a little bit, and it's a blast. What kind of camera do you use for filming? Um, here we use the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K with the EF mount. Oh, and that's all the time we have. So thank you so much for joining us. Yup, cool. Well, JJ goes on the board with six questions answered correctly. Not enough to beat Jeremiah Lee, so I think they're just gonna have to duke it out on stream. Anyway, let's throw it over to Alexis to see what's going on this week and Subconscious. Greetings, citizens. Alexis here with another bone-chillingly exciting episode of Subconscious, the mini show that's just for Star Citizen development subscribers. November is upon us, and we've got two ships for you to sample all month long, the Origin M50 Racer and the Misk Starfarer Tanker. One big ship, one little ship. Put them together and what do you get? Well, the popular song, M50 Ways to Leave Your Fairer for One, and a month of exciting action in the verse too. Check out this clip from the wonderful cinematic short submitted by Frostmaster that shows the Starfarer in all of her glory. The full version is in the den. And be sure to keep submitting your videos and shots to appear here. And let us know what ships you'd like to try next month. There's a new edition of Jump Point this week. It features the development of the Pioneer, plus an interview with our character artist and much, much more. And by much more, I mean a new portfolio, galactic guide, and chapter of exclusive Star Citizen fiction. The November Subscriber Town Hall is coming up, and we'll reveal the panel right here next week. Stay tuned. Until then, this is Alexis signing off. Stay frosty, and I'll see you all in the den. Hey everyone, Tyler Whitkin, Lead Community Manager in the Austin, Texas studio, here to bring you this week's Top 5 and MVP. Number 5, Light and Shadow. Lorian has taken it upon himself to take some incredible screenshots using the subscriber's ship of the month, the M50. Number 4, Asperia Prowler Wallpaper in 4K by Max. Creating this beautiful piece took three days of hard work, and the time spent definitely paid off. Number 3, First Responder by Spoof Ghost. Spoof Ghost created a stunning and quite painterly image of the Drake Herald responding to a derelict to be. Number two, Expedition by Naima. Ever imagine yourself exploring the icy surface of a planet? Well, Naima has brought those imaginations to life with his latest piece of art. Number one, and this week's MVP goes to Braskill for his 3D printed Argo with lights. We see a lot of 3D printed artwork nowadays, but this one still managed to blow us away. Fantastic work and congratulations again, you're this week's MVP. Well, that about wraps up our show for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. A very special thank you to Mr. J.J. Britt and Thrustmaster for appearing on our program. Till next time, we will see you on Citizens of the Stars. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.